Hello to the YouTube community, how are you today? I've got another great video for you all. I have a lot of pop figures in my house so I thought I'd do a pop haul. I collect them a lot but I thought doing this video would be easy and then it, it was daylight outside when I, when I got this idea into my head to do the video and now it's dark outside because I've had to prepare for them, prepare all of the pops I've got. They're all down here and over here and I actually forgot some of the names for them so I had to make a list on this envelope <laughs> and so I'm finally ready. I apologise for the craziness of the hair, it's one of them days where I'm just not bothered with how I look, which is pretty much every day. But I'll put this bow in to make me look a bit out there, <laughs> instead of wearing my Mickey ears, because I'll, if it was my choice, well it is my choice in my video, but if, I mean, I would wear my Disney ears again, but then it'll just get a bit boring, and then I've I have these mini ears as well, like a little cap. Can't find them anywhere. I was trying to look all over the house for them, but I found this bow instead, and it's red. It's just like, I might as well just wear my mini ears. Anyway, so the purpose of this video is to do a pop Funko, well, a Funko pop haul, uh, just to let you know which ones I've got, and if you want any, not well, not want any, but if you want any, and if you want to buy any, and you want to see how they are but I love all my pop figures and my collection's only going to get bigger and I want more and more and more and I've, only, and I've got two new ones this week so yeah the collection's just going to keep growing that's all I can say about that so shall we start? okay first one I have is Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War and this is an exclusive with his golden lancet. His gentleman claptrap. Look at him with his little hat and everything. And gentleman claptrap is actually an underground exclusive, uh, underground toys exclusive. And he's from Borderlands. Captain Spaulding, and he's from Devil's Rejects. The next one I have is the Night King and he's from Game of Thrones. The next one I have is from... <laughs> Let's start again. The next one I have is the Master and he's from The Strain. He's like six inches I believe and he's one of the big Funko Pops that you can get and that's him. Next one I have is... I can't remember how to say her name. Daenerys. Daenerys Tar Targian. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know how to say the name. It's not mine. It's one of my boyfriend's pop figure. So and she's from Game of Thrones. I haven't got a clue how to say that name. Someone help me out here. So that's her. She looks nice though, doesn't she? The next one I have is Little Sister from Bioshock. She stands on this stand up because if she doesn't she falls over so she has a little stand that comes with her. I have Bender from Futurama and he's exclusive in gold. Gets a bit interesting now. Some of the ones I like. Because these are a mixture of me and my partners. So we've just put them all together and we've got one massive haul. This one is Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. And he's another big one. He's not as big as the master but um, Nice. He's green. He's got his little evil smile. Like me. <laughs> this one is Mad Moxie from Borderlands. And she also comes on that stand. Because if she doesn't, she falls over. So, yeah. That's her. V from V for Vendetta. And he's quite a big, chunky pop figure. He's not a big six inch one, but he's quite hefty. Stewie from Family Guy, obviously. He's quite a small pop figure compared to the rest of them. Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, and she's also an exclusive. She's from New she's a New York Comic Con exclusive. Just checking my notes there. She comes with this cat. I don't know if this cat has a name, but we look. We should know because we love Nightmare Before Christmas. But yeah, that's her. She's an exclusive. Another New York. 
York Comic Con exclusive of Jack Skeleton, the Pumpkin King pop figure. This is Magenta from Rocky Horror Show. Frankenfurter from Rocky Horror Show again. He has a stand, it's just fell off though. I think I put the wrong one on him, so that's why it's falling off. Um, but he's nice in his little sweet transvestite costume. Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland and he actually stands on the tail. It's not gonna balance. Yeah, there we go. So I like him. He's a bit different compared to the rest of them. Robot Devil from Futurama. He's a bit dusty. I apologise. <laughs> Braveheart and I think he is an exclusive as well. Oh, blood splattering on him. He's got his sword there. Another Claptrap. Twisty the Clown from American Horror Story. Nightshade Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Songbird from Bioshock and he is quite hefty. He is really heavy actually for a pop vinyl figure. Uh, he's about six to eight inches I think. He's really big. I'll compare him to... Compare him to Stewie. So this is in comparison to Stewie. Yeah, really big. We've got another New York Comic Con exclusive and this is Liv Moore from iZombie. It's a good Netflix TV program, I, I highly recommend. Vault Boy and he's in gold from Fallout. Aiko from Borderlands. Handsome Jack from Borderlands. We've got to have this one. Well, we've got to have one from the Harry Potter films, haven't we? <laughs> and this is Harry Potter in his gown. He's got a scarf and he's got Hedwig on his hand. Can you see just there? And I got this one for my birthday. My birthday was on February the 1st, so he's not that old. Just got him really. Loot Crate exclusive, and this is Dr. Emmett Brown from one of the best movies ever, Back to the Future. I think it, I think Back to the Future is my favourite movie franchise ever. Harry Potter is a close second, but Back to the Future is my all time favourite. I just love all three of the movies, they're amazing. So I'm glad I got him. Another favourite movie of mine is Beauty and the Beast and I can't wait for the live action movie to come out March the 17th so I've still got near enough another month to wait. Um, but we have Belle and this is Peasant Belle from the animated movie. Again like I said in my last video with the Disney pins you can't have Belle or Beast without Belle and Belle without Beast so I've got to have Beast. This is the animated beast. I love him, he's so cute. Mrs. Potts and Chip. And I think this is another cute one for sure. Chip is so tiny. He's like like a thumb, like my fingernail size. And that's him, he's a close-up. The Mia. Again from the animated movie. Another favourite Disney movie of mine is Wally. -E. <laughs> and so I've got Eve. And to accompany Eve, we have Wally. -E, one of my favourite Disney couples. Look at him. Look at his cute eyes. Miss Piggy from The Muppets. And no, I don't have Kermit yet. I mean, how can you have Miss Piggy without Kermit, really? Even though they've apparently split up. Actually, I don't know what the latest is about, about their relationship, so who knows what's going to happen with them. So this is Miss Piggy, and I will get Kermit to accompany her. That's her. Another favourite Disney movie of mine is Inside Out. I think it's an amazing movie. I love how the, like, the movie expresses all the different emotions, and with me working in mental health, I just think it's fabulous. So I have two pop figures from Inside Out. I will get the collection because obviously I said that the collection's only gonna grow, so I want all the emotions. So the first one I have is joy. And the other emotion I have is anger. This one's another new one of mine, and that's Gus in Cinderella's slipper. I thought this was the cutest. And the slipper sparkles, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. And Gus looks so cute. Little Gus Gus. I also love the movie Up, but I don't have enough figures, pop figures that I want with regards to that movie. I've only got Doug. The newest ones to my pop figure collection is the new Beauty and the Beast live action um, 
figures that they've just recently brought out. I got these this week courtesy of my brother, so shout out to my brother James for getting me them. I do think they look quite weird compared to the animated series, but I'm willing to give them a chance. I still love Beauty and the Beast and so yeah, I have these two now, so I will get the collection of these. And the first one is Lumia. He looks really different compared to compared to the animated one. So side by side, they look quite different. Animated, live action. Yeah. The other new Beauty and the Beast live action one I have is Chip and Mrs. Potts. And again, they look really different compared to the animated ones. Here's a comparison. So this one's the animated and this one's the live action. And again, they look quite different. You can tell it's them. Again, Chip's pretty small. I'm just pointing there. Um, yeah, but I still like them, so I'm going to get the collection of these. The only one who I don't have from the animated series is Cogsworth. He was in Forbidden Planet, in my local Forbidden Planet, a couple of months ago, but he hasn't been there since, so I'm going to have to get him off Amazon and complete my animated series collection. But yeah, I'll try my best to get the live action ones as well. The next bits and bobs I have from Funko Pop are little small figures. Um, these are collected by my partner Adam. I also have salt and pepper shakers and I've also got two daubs and a vinyl vixen so I'll show you them. Ra a raider from Fallout and this is tiny compared to the other pop figures. I'll show you another cat comparison. Compared to Jack, this is how big this one is. Next small pop figure I have is a female vault dweller. This is from Fallout as well. This is tiny as well like the other one. Okay, so I don't know the name of this one. I think it's from Nightmare Before Christmas. And it's this. If anyone knows the name of this character, please let me know in the comments down below because I have no idea. We have a key ring. Um, and this is the Vault Boy from Fallout and this one glows in the dark. Onto the salt and pepper shakers, I have the Spider-Man collection and this is from Pop Funko as well I believe or Funko Pop whichever way you say it but anyway it's all the same to me so this is from the Pop Figure collection anyway so I use this one as the salt I don't use pepper so this one's empty the only problem with these though a little mini review right here is that the back where they hold the salt in it comes out really easily so if it tips over it comes out and all the salt's on the floor so if you get these be careful because yeah you'll have salt everywhere if you knock it over but I still like them anyway they're very nice and again I got these off my brother and he looks out for me all the time so I'm very happy with these. The next one I have is a pop vinyl vixen I don't know if that's right I should have really googled all these before I came on to do the video but never mind hey ho it is what it is this is Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad and she's quite big as well she's compared to the six inch pop figure she's bigger and she's quite nice it's very nice there's a close up there The next two are from Pop Funko. I think I think they make it. But it's the Dobbs collection and I don't really collect Dobbs unless they're really cute. So part of my Dobbs collection so far is Deadpool. And he's so cute. I love the Deadpool movie and my brother's obsessed with Deadpool. In fact, this is my brother's Dobbs that I got from America when I was last in Florida and he accidentally left it at my house because he moved in with me a couple of months ago and he's obviously moved back out and he left this behind and he hasn't even noticed so some, some brother he is like thinking about my presents that I give him but never mind he's left it behind so I'll give it to him next time I see him so that's him the next one I have is Batman and he's a big Dobbs compared to Oogie Boogie he is well bigger I think the wee boogie is about six inches so I'm guessing this is about eight nine inches and I think he's pretty cute we have this one added to our pop Funko collection and he is cute and that's him okay guys I think that is everything that is all my pop 
Funko collection at the moment. It's gonna get bigger as I say because I love them and one day I just want all one wall full of them. And yes, they do cost quite a bit of money for what they are, but I just love to look at them. We have them downstairs in our living room. Like the majority, I'd say about 30 of them are in our living room. We are not a show home type couple. We have what we like around our house. We just like everything to be part of us and we're not going to pretend so like we're someone that we're not. So we have all these sort of geeky collections around our house and that's just the way we are. So yeah, our collection is just going to be bigger. We keep shopping for them anywhere. We, every time we go down to the town or to Forbidden Planet, we are always have a look at what pop figures are available. Um, everything I buy is with our own money. I, I may add, I've never been gifted any. Um, I'm only starting on YouTube, so who's going to support me anyway to give me these sort of things? So everything is from my money and I get I enjoy them. I get a kick out of them really. So I have a couple of more collections and I will do a Pop Funko Hall Part 2. Um, and this will be soon, so keep an eye out for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I can't wait to keep on doing YouTube videos. I'm going to try and put a video out every week. With my work commitments it can be a bit difficult because I work shifts. So one day I'll be on days, next minute I'll be on nights. Then sometimes I work in the weekdays and sometimes I work weekends. So it's just fitting around that schedule really. But if you still like them, keep watching them. Give me a thumbs up, comment below which one's your favourite and which ones you have that I might like. Also subscribe if you still want to see more videos, not necessarily Disney. Well, some of the pop figures are Disney, but again, I like other geeky things. So yeah, if you want to see any more of that, then please do not hesitate to subscribe. I'd be very grateful and I'll keep continuing to put out new videos. So thank you for watching. Bye everyone.